What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back, doing some VGC battles with this Alkazam and Scizor team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. Everyone who views, everyone who likes the videos, and everyone who has subscribed. It's just, just crazy how much support I get. But this team right here was made by my boy Alex. He DM'd me over on my Instagram page, asked if you can make me a team. I was like, yo, dude, make me an Alkazam team, and he came up clutch. Look at this team. It looks amazing. So shout out to him. Thank you so much. If you guys want to make teams for me, just DM me over on my Instagram page at jeans under score YouTube link is in the description below below but rocking out on this team we have Raichu lightning rod Raichu with that focus sash with nuzzle to control paralyzes surf volt switch and encore one thing I probably would change with this Raichu is give it fake out fake out just rocks out so good instead of encore and then we can roll from there but Cinderace in our next spot with that violence and Liberio guys I know I'm pronouncing Liberio wrong or his ability however you pronounce it but yo it happens it happens it's okay I just don't really take the time to look up the right uh pronunciation for it so it's fine we're gonna stick with what i say it has pyro ball bounce high jump kick and sucker punch all stab moves because of his ability and he's also holding that wyland so high jump kick can hit more consistently and we got seismitoad right here leftover seismitoad with water absorb so we can get health from that surf for my two with, with liquidation and bulldoze for stab drain punch and protect bulldoze can actually slow down all the other pokemon as well so that can work out very very strong then we got my boy, I absolutely love this Pokemon. One of my new favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield, it is Appleton with Apple Acid, Dragon Pulse, Protect, and Recycle. Ripen has its ability and that Citrus Berry, so we'll get more health from our berries, then we can recycle and get our berries back. Then in the final two spots is our new Showcase Pokemon, which I am so hyped for. These new Isle of Armor Pokemon, we got Scissor rocking out with Technician as its ability, and that is actually a really good ability. For low power moves such as like bullet punch and dual dual wing beat since it's below 60 i think it gets boosted up to 60 base power so first turn priority bullet punch stab for 60 base power come on that is so good and he has that extra belt as his ability moves bullet punch x scissor x scissors also stab dual wing beat and sword stance i was doing like research on dual wing beat and i believe it hits for like uh it hits twice so it can take out pokemon with focus ash and all that good stuff it's actually a really strong move then in the final spot, we got Alakazam, yo. This Pokemon is hype in the Isle of Armor. I've been waiting to show him off. He has Dazzling Gleam. He's a screen guy, so he has Reflect, Energy Ball, and Psy Shot. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Give it a try. Let me know how you do with it. But let's get rolling here. Let's go into that casual ladder and get rolling. Try to get some wins with this team. I feel like we should be able to rock out pretty strong. We only have one screen with that, uh, which I'm just noticing now. No, I don't want to do a single battle. What you mean? The last battle I want to do. Do not want to do single battles. We're here for the double battles. We're here for double battles. But I thought this thing had light screen, but I guess it just has reflect, which is totally fine. I'm still gonna have a blast with it anyway. But yo, I'm hyped for that scissor as well. Like both these Pokemon, like come on. I have a luxury team on the way. And like I said in the beginning, if you guys want to build me teams, hit me up on my Instagram and let me know what teams uh I need. I will uh, well just hit me up, big yo. I'm down to build a team. What team you need? And I'll get you guys the teams. But yeah, I'll like send over, I'll be like, yo, I kinda need this team. And I can need that team or I'm looking to use this team. Because I want that, uh, I, don't, I forget what that, uh, that seahorse is called. It's like the poison seahorse, Draggle or something. He looks so sick. I want him. I want Lycanroc. I have a Luxray team ready to go. So, we're just going to keep rolling out with the new teams. We got Urshifu right here. Mimikyu, Darmanitan, Scrafty, Durant, and Dragapult. This guy's using like a real team, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> but I'm going to set up a Reflect turn one. Get rolling with that. And then I could go in the Raichu. Uh, hmm. It's Durant. I gotta, I gotta, gotta think about this one a little bit. Probably Cinderace. Cinderace can definitely roll out strong here. The Cinderace outspeed? That is my question. I'm definitely gonna bring Cinderace probably front spot. Does he have any Intimidates? Uh, no, he does not. He does, he does not have any Intimidates. I definitely wanna bring Scizor. And then I'm thinking Seismitoad. I'm thinking Seismitoad can do some work here. Seismitoad! Seismitoad! Yeah, yeah. Or, 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 hold up. How about we do this? How about we do this? We go Raichu turn one. We can just start Nuzzle controlling. And then bring uh, Cinderace and uh, Scizor. So I can potentially Dynamax one of them if I really want to. But it's so cool having Scizor back here. Because we don't really have any big bug Pokemon. Like any bug Pokemon that's really like a staple. And Scizor is a perfect Pokemon. Because he can hit hard. And he has that stab move. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, link in the description below. Gene25 on Twitch. We stream 4 plus days every single week. Every single week. I've been uh, crushing the Isle of Armor doing Pokedex. And we're starting to get back into the rank ladder. But it goes to Rant and Mimikyu turn 1. So, potential trick room? Um, I probably should have actually led Cinderace, which could have been really, really nice. I probably should have went Nuzzle in the Cinderace, but that's totally fine. We'll set up this Reflect easily. 
And then I'm just going to nuzzle and potentially bolt switch out, but we're definitely nuzzling up on this Durant, slowing him down a little bit. Say, say hey, yo, slow your roll there, kid. I got Alkazam, yo, he's looking sick. Dynamax here, man, dude, I could have just did this dude dirty. I could have did this dude, dude dirty. Went for the nuzzle and then have Cinderace in the front spot. Just go nuzzle, pyro ball, see you later, Durant. Even a G-Max Durant would have took it out in one shot easily. But it's going to be nice to actually have this reflect up in this nuzzle. Because my Raichu should be able to outspeed the Durant. And then I should be able to get up to the reflect. Let's see what happens here. This first Shadow Call. Oh, this Mimikyu is fast, fast. This Mimikyu is fast, fast. He just dumps on my Alkazam like it's nothing. I didn't realize how fast his Mimikyu was. Things fast, fast. Nuzzle comes out though, but yo, Alkazam not getting no love this first battle. Totally fine. We get the paralyze on this uh, Durant, and Durant's gonna take actually not take us out because we have uh, because we'll be chilling here with the uh, Focus Sash. Wow, this Durant like they coming at us hard. I didn't even get to show off my boy Alkazam first battle. It's all right. It happens. It happens. We'll definitely show him off later. This one's gonna be for Cinderace and Scissor, and we're definitely gonna bring out uh. Himon Lee. His name's Himon Lee, but it's actually Cinderace. And I'm just going to throw a Pyro Ball. Um, do I read the max guard? That's a real question. Do I read the max guard? How do I really play this one? Hmm. I'm just going to uh, keep the pressure on that. And I'm going to nuzzle over on you. And just get the Paralyzed knock off the Disguise as well. Start controlling this battle. Unless he takes me out. Let's see. Shadow Call comes out. And he is going to take out Raju, which is totally fine. I think Cinderace, yeah, 100% outspeeds this, uh, this Durant. And we'll be fine. We'll be chilling here. We'll be able to take this thing out. You see you later, punk. See you later. Now the real question is, hmm. Actually, I can double up in the. Who's gonna go first? I think Scissor might go first. If I go for a sucker punch, who's faster? I guess I guess he just type it because I can double up and take out this Mimikyu easily. 188. This thing's 189. Wow. And this thing's only 85. I guess I guess he kind of kept his speed low because he has a lot of first turn priority moves, which is totally fine. Okay, let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling. We got a technician right here. So and he's gonna go Machamps.com, who is not Machamps. I don't know like why. <laughs> he goes in the pool. Um I definitely think I Dynamax here. I can sucker punch. I could totally sucker punch, get that stab rolling. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, sucker punch it and I'm going to bullet punch over on to Hmm. I think we're gonna double into this thing. I'm gonna double into the dragon pool here. I'm doubling into this Dragon Bolt. He's got to go. He's got to go. He's going to withdraw the Mimikyu. Oh, my God, yo. Bro, let's get it. Let's get rolling here. That was awesome. That was awesome. This should be a huge play for us. Tucker Punch comes in. We change. He's going for attack move, right? Show it to me. Yes, he is going for attack move. Big damage there. Doesn't take him out, but Bullet Punch is going to come in clutch here and be able to take him out here. You See you later, Punk. That is base power 60 with stab because of his technician ability. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so definitely my Cinderace outspeeds that, uh, that what's it called? That Urshifu. But I kind of got to worry about this Mimikyu right here. So let's just go. I'm going to Dynamax him. I'm going to go for that. Uh, do I go for Airstream? Can give us a speed boost? Yes, sir. I'm going to Dynamax. Give us a speed boost. I'm going to go for a dual wing beat right here. Over on to you. And we're going to get rolling. We're going to get rolling. Let's get it, yo. Match number one. Looking pretty good. I'm so mad that he just dumped on my Alkazam like that. Like, I wish at least we would have got off the Reflect because we probably would have been able to eat up a shot. Actually, maybe not. That was stab super effective. Like, mm, that was tough. But still. What's called is coming up clutch here. Cinderace and Scissor. Cinderace and Scissor. And we will see a lot more of Alkazam in probably the next two battles anyway. So let's see what happens here. Play Rough comes out first. And we eat up just fine. And now my Cinderace should be able to go. Yeah, Max Airstream comes out here. I think we take out this Urshifu through one shot. We start taking speed advantage. And we say pretty much say GG here. Let's see, right? Urshifu gone. Yes, sir. Urshifu, get it out of here. And Dual Wing Beat is going to come out here. I'm not sure. I've been, I don't really know too, too much about this move. I know if you hit it and it takes out a substitute, it will hit again. I Maybe with the Disguise as well. But I know if they have Focus Sash, it will hit it, bring it down to Focus Sash, and then hit it again. So watch. It takes off Disguise now that we hit again. I gotta see if we hit again. That would be pretty cool. You guys, just bust it. And we do hit again. Look at that. That move is amazing. Let's get it. And that's 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 game. We bullet punch out here. And we have speed advantage. So I'm just gonna go for a player. He's probably gonna call quits. Bullet punch will take out super effective stab. Base power 60 because of technician ability. And GG, yo. Let's go. Scissor shining in this final battle. Well, in this first battle. Not final battle. His bullet punches and his dual wing beats are coming up clutch. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just what I wanted. Now let's hop into battle number two and try to get Alkazam to show off.
Battle number two here, and this guy has no new Pokemon from the Owl of Armor. Unless this is a G-Max Blast Switch, which I'm kind of hoping. That would be cool to actually see. Um, who should I lead this first battle? I kind of want to lead Alkazam again. Try to get that off. Um, he has... I gotta bring Raichu. Right? Do I have to bring Raichu for that Lightning Rod? He has Toga tomorrow. I feel like he's bringing that. I feel like he's going to lead... Uh, I feel like he is going to lead the... What's it called? The Pelipper. Get the rain going. I gotta bring uh, Seismitoad here. Seismic token roll out here with this water absorb. Um, hmm. We go him. I'm gonna get rolling like that. I'm gonna get rolling with a uh, seismic toad and scissor in the back end. So same team, but no Raichu. We're not gonna be showing off Raichu in this battle just because he has that uh that what is it called? The token tomorrow probably is lightning rod. So I'm gonna leave this Alkazam. If he leads token tomorrow, I'm totally fine. He cannot flinch my uh, Alkazam because it has inner focus. So I'm hoping he kind of goes after that Alkazam from there, and my Cinderace can roll out strong. But let's see who he leads. Is he going to lead uh, Blastoise and Gudra? Okay. So is that Sap Sipper Gudra? That might be Sap Sipper Gudra. Let's see what happens here. Do I set up a Reflect? These are both special attackers, so... I don't think I set up the Reflect. I think I just go straight for the Energy Ball, or I could go Dazzle and Gudra. I'm gonna go Energy Ball, and I think this this uh, Blastoise has gotta go. I'm gonna go that, and then do I bounce? Or do I Sucker Punch? Uh, I'm thinking of bouncing and just dodging, dodging an attack here. Let's see how we roll out here. Gonna withdraw Guja. Beautiful. We're going after him anyway. And what are you going for? Who is this? Who is this? He's gonna go for Pelper. He's gonna set the rain. Which is totally fine. Hopefully he's going after Cinderace. Drizzle's gonna come out here. And then I get him in my uh, Seismitoad after this. I could get him in my Seismitoad. Force the Seismitoad move. And is this G-Max Blastoids? Hold the phone, people. Hold the phone. Is this G-Max Blastoids? I would love to see this. Please be it. Yes, sir! Let's get it! Yo, we look sick. Please be going after my Cinderace slot. Please be going after my Cinderace slot. And we get dodge and move. I want to see this, and I still want to win. Energy Ball comes out. Yeet. That's a decent amount of damage. Not stab, but still nice damage. And Cinderace is going to bounce. I'm going to say see you later. Okay, so we spring up here. And we out of here. So hopefully he's going after my Cinderace slot. I do not know what his G-Max move does. G-Max can you need. And yes, he was going for that. What does that do? That sounds intense. Um, I know I outspeed. I could go for a side shock. Oh, this attack does physical damage. That's pretty dope. I could set up a reflect before I do go out. I know I have the speed advantage all day. But I could double into that. Hmm. I'm gonna go for an energy ball. On this Blastoise. Let's go for this. But Alkazam is gonna be able to do some work here. On this Blastoise. Nice damage. I'm hoping a bounce could potentially take this thing out with a stab. And we do get the special defense drop. So we already know that this Blastoise is coming after my Ooh! Almost take it out. He's gonna go for G-Max Canyonade on my Cinderace. Right, Cinderace? Please be Cinderace. Let's see this. Oh my lord. What does that do? It sends like a whirlpool around. That is nuts. A vortex of water. So I'm guessing it's kinda like uh it's kinda like Charizards. And he takes some life for damage and almost dies. Pelper's gonna go for a hurricane, and that might actually take us out. Let's see. Eat up, buddy. Yep, hurricane just one taps us. He gets a crit, dude. Get out of my face, yo. Get out of my face. You really just got a crit. That's whack. That is whack. But we're chilling here just fine. We got our Seismitoad now, who's going to be my uh, Dynamax Pokemon. And my What's Called is going to come in clutch here. With just like full of punches and stuff. My Scizor. But you really land that Hurricane just like that and get a crit? Well, obviously the Hurricane's going to land because of the rain, but still. You get a crit like that. I'm definitely Dynamaxing. And go for a Geyser, but I really don't want to. I'd rather boost my, uh, rather boost my attack. Even though it's not very effective. I have to take off the Sash and then go after the Blastoids with a uh, Bullet Punch. Yeah, let's go Bullet Punch here. Guarantee first turn priority. We'll take out Blastoids. We'll say Night Night. But yo, that Canyon is looking dope. I think it's going to... Do I get Water Absorb damage from it? Or do I get HP back from it? That could be so cool. That could be awesome. If I can get HP back from the Vortex. Because technically it is Water. So instead of taking damage... Can we get health from it because of our ability? That would be amazing. Size potatoes against Dynamax. We are in the rain now. And we have leftovers as well. Bullet punch. Oh, this thing guards. I should have doubled up into the, uh, the Pelper. That would have been huge. Nice guard from him. And I think he's going to come out with a Hurricane. But still, Max Knuckles is going to give us that attack boost. He's going to Tailwind set up. What a play. What a smart little cookie here. That's up to Tailwind. It's just, just smart cookie plays, you know? We're going to get a Knuckle off and get our attack boost. Nope. Not bad. A little bit of damage. A <laughs> little bit of damage. That's all good. 
Like I said, he has speed now, which is just scary. Which is just scary. But attack boost out the buns. And Vortex coming out doing damage to us. Look at that. That looks so cool. Now, do we get HP back from the other one? Or maybe we just don't take it. Let's see what happens. We just don't take the damage. Okay, that's fine. Uh, do I go for another one? I think Guy's just going to do a little bit more. We'll go stab. And then I'm just going to bullet punch and again take him out. <laughs> bullet punch. What you want, fool? He's definitely going to go into a hurricane. But I'm hoping that I can take him out. Actually, he's going to outspeed me now. My time's been good. It's going to be a close battle here. It's going to be a close one. Might, might be stepping back in battle number two. Getting whooped on. Let's see. What you want, fool? He's going to withdraw blast rates. That's totally fine. I can just bull punch that thing out later. And Gudra's going to get the pop. Gudra is going to get the pop skis. Bull punch going to come in here. Stab, base 60. How much damage are we really going to do? Look at that. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Hurricanes or Skull is going to come in here. going to go for the Skull. Can we eat? We do eat, so another bullet punch will take out the Gudra. And of course, yo, dude, you get the burn? Why are you so lucky with the crits and the burn? Geyser comes out. Can we pick up the KO? I don't think we are. Close, close. Okay. So the real question is, how do I do this? I might go down here. Was well, the burn going to take me out? Dude, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That is insane. Um, I think there's a chance of my Seismitoad outspeeding the Gudra. So I'm just going to go for a Quake over on the Gudra, get that special defense boost, and then go into a Bullet Punch over on the Pelipper. You know, do we think the Pelipper is shielding? I think they're both going to honestly protect. Let's see what happens. None of them do protect, so we take out the Pelipper, which is wonderful, and get that Hurricane dude out the way. Get out of my... Never mind! Never mind! Never mind! Power Whip comes out here, and he avoids. Okay, so that, that works out for us. Th down goes my Scizor. And of course, we do not pick up that KO on that Pelipper. I should have went the other way. But Gudra goes down. This one's going to be really, really close. Really, really close. Blastoids cannot go for a water move. Down goes my Scissor to the uh, burn damage and the Vortex. That's whack. That is whack. And my leftovers are popping. We're getting some health back now. And I have one more turn left in Dynamax. No, I'm done with my Dynamax. Scissor down here. Scissor down. Wow. Alright, so now he has Pelipper... G Max Blast Weights on one. Both of them are on one. I do have Bulldoze, but still, Bulldoze will not hit that uh, Pelipper. I was going to say, that would be good just to take out both these mons. But I cannot inch Pelipper. Blast Weights come back out. And hopefully, maybe you go for a Water Move and give us some HP. That would be awesome. Go for Water Move, guys. I can't believe the rain's still here. Uh, do I protect and wait for the rain to end? Or how many turns is left in their Tailwind? That's my question. Rain is three turns. He has Damp Rock. He has Damp Rock. And one more turn left in Tailwind, so I'm definitely going to uh, protect here. And waste out that Tailwind. See what happens. Protect. Come on, man. We going for the long run. <laughs> we going for the long run. Ice Beam comes in. Block. Get out of my face. What are you going for here? Hurricane. Block. Get out of my face. They're beautiful. No more Hurricanes for... Oh, actually, no. There's still rain. But no more big speed advantage for you. Even though they probably still both outspeed me. That one does Peter out. Um, I should go for the bulldoze. I don't even know what I want to do. This one has a higher accuracy. And I take out the blast switch here. It has no effect over there. Rain punch. We don't really want out the way. I don't want that blast switch out the way, but this this pelper is kind of scaring me as well. I guess I'll just take out the blast. Let's say like, screw it. Come on, blast switch. What you want, fool? Here comes a nice beam from the blast switch. E, leave me alone. We eat, we eat fine though. Oh, he lose HP. Good thing we went for that Drain Punch. Good thing we went for that Drain Punch. He went first. And now I can take out the Pelipper here, too. And he connects with this. Can we eat? I love you, Seismitoad. I can protect next turn. Oh, my God, dude. Why is this Pelipper so lucky? This Pelipper is so lucky. This game is trash, dude. What you mean? What you mean? What's his last Pokemon? I want to see if we would have outsped this thing and been able to Liquidation probably one tap it. Token of Mar okay, that would have been close. This would have been close. He cannot hit us with electric moves. I think we would have had this one in a bag. Bro, this game, trash. The trash can. I gotta go bulldoze. Well, now I don't even know. This game's over. I should have just canceled it. He's gonna go for a poison jab. He has speed advantage. This game is trash. Dude, we would have won. We would have probably won that game. I could have protected, got more HP back. Oh my lord. But GG to that guy. That Pelipper came in clutch for him. We are now 1-1. One one. Let's hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record.
Final battle for this video coming at you guys. This guy is Meowstic Gardevoir, the brand new Amolga, brand new Urshifu, Indeedee, and that typical Lapras. G-Max Lapras probably coming in here. Um, very special attacking team. Very, very special attacking team. I kind of want to lead Alkazam to one. I want to lead Alkazam, and I kind of want to bring Raichu. I can Nuzzle Control, but does Amolga learn Lightning Rod? I feel like it possibly does, you know? And the Psychic Surge takes away from first turn priority, so I gotta watch out with Scissor. I'm gonna go uh, Cinderace, Seismitoad, and then I think Scissor in the back end. Let's go with all three of these, and we're gonna get rolling out. And we're gonna get rolling out, baby. No Tailwind. Does any of these guys want to Trick Room? Oh, Gardevoir does. So maybe Trick Room? Not too worried about that Urshifu. Urshifu is rather slow and can be taken out real quickly, but you cannot let like an Urshifu like, get turned. That's when he's like very, very strong, and he'll just uh, run all over you. But can we get a winning record here? And I'm hoping, I'm hoping. We get that Alkazam out first turn. He goes Gardevoir and Puka, whoever Puka is. This is Puka. Okay, hello, Puka, Amolga. Um, Alkazam and Cinderace are very fast ones, so we should be doing pretty well here. We're going to Trace. We're going to Trace it. Oh, my God. Gardevoir just got Libero. Oh! Um, I meant to go for a Gleam. Actually, are we even part fairies? Is Alkazam part fairy, or is he just all second? Give me a second. Alkazam is all second, so. Lefit's going to go into the side Shock. Over onto this Amolga. I think I just Pyro Ball. I'm just going to Pyro Ball. These things are all special attacking, so no need to set up the Reflect. He's going to withdraw over here. And what is he going to go into? Magenta, whoever this is. Okay, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. We're not going for Psychic or uh, Psychic Punches. And that Psychic Surge is going to be huge. Thank you very much. I might have to Dynamax Alkazam now. I might have to Dynamax Alkazam. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> Side shot comes out because that's gonna be a big boost to the psychic moves. Can we KO? Big old damage there. That's big old damage. Fireball is gonna come out here. Get kicking rocks and stuff. Get him! Boom! Oh my god, dude. Such big damage. Such big damage. Nuzzle gonna go over here. That's fine. I'm Dynamaxing my uh, Alkazam. I'm definitely Dynamaxing my Alkazam now. I'm gonna get rolling here. And what is he using? Okay, he has leftovers. Uh, do I wait a turn to Dynamax Alkazam? I think I wait a turn and just go Dazzling Gleam. Double up into this, and then who do I think is going to eat up more? I think they're both dead. I think I go for a sucker punch over on you. And actually, we cannot. No first turn priority. Move. We just uh, go for a pyro ball over on you. What happens here? Follow me comes out. Good thing we did go for that Dazzling Gleam. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. He's going for the double nuzzle. And Dazzling Gleam should be able to pick up the double KO. So I did not Dynamax that turn because I wanted to do that. Okay, never mind. That still works. We did like no damage to the NDD. But still, Pyro Balls can come in here. But that's the reason why I didn't Dynamax. I wanted to take out both these bonds and instead of wasting one Dynamax turn. Now I'm in the Psychic Surge with Alkazam. So I'm Dynamax the next turn. And I'm going to get rolling doing some big damage. He's 189 speed. So he's probably one of the fastest out here. If not, is the fastest. Gardevoir comes out here. What you want, Gardevoir? Bad play by you, man. And Urshifu comes out here. Oh, we definitely coming after you, baby. And is this the single strike one? If that's the single strike one, a Max Starfall will just dump on it. It is, dude. Oh, my lord. It is. It is. They're all super effective. They're all super effective. I'm just going to take out Urshifu with that. We're going to go for that. Because I don't want to change the terrain. I really don't want to change the terrain. I think I just roll out with a Pyro Ball here. And do we dominate? Alkazam comes in clutch and dominates this last battle. Alkazam's obviously the fastest. Let's go, dude. He gave us our, our own Psychic Surge. And then I think it's 1.3 times boost to Psychic Boost. Oh, my Lord. Yo, look at this dude. He's huge with double spoons. He's ready to go get some ice cream. He just double spoon. Just, just eat that up. See what happens here. Oh, Surgeon Strikes goes first. We eat up, though. This thing's fast. This thing is fast. Double crit. Actually, triple crit. I, got, I forgot about the triple crit. Jeez, man. Jeez. This thing's a beast. Good thing we did Dynamax. We would have been dead. Triple crit. That is nutty. That is nutty. Here goes the Mindstorm. Gardevoir should be able to take out my Alkazam, but this is all we really needed. This is all we needed was Urshifu gone. Big old damage. Big old damage. Stab super effective in the Surge. Get out of here. And then here goes the Expanding Force. Uh, Alkazam. Whoa. Not very effective on Alkazam. And just dumps on my Cinderace. Okay, okay, chill out. We, got, we still got my scissor with stab, super effective uh, bull punch, but we cannot use it. That's a sad part. We cannot use it. Here we got Seismitoad and Skizzies and Skizzors. Did he Dynamax yet? I don't think he did. He's going to Dynamax here, and this is going to be scary now. <laughs> this is going to be scary. I need to surge to end. 
I cannot use like you cannot use our priority moves in it. Which stinks. Uh, liquidation, obviously, we're gonna stab rolling. And X Skizzies. And the bull punch super effective. We gotta go for X Skizzies. I think he's gonna Dynamax now. He does not Dynamax. What's that expanding force? Though? I feel like it's just dominating me. What is this move? And why is it dominating me like that? Can we take out, please? Big ol' liquidation. And this X Scissor should come out here and finish this game off. Right, KO? Beautiful. Okay, we get the win. Someone let me know in the comment section down below what expanding force does and why it's hitting so hard like that. But GG, we go 2-1 and one and we get to show off that Alkazam in the final battle. I'm in love with this team. The Scissor and the Alkazam feel so good. I'm so hyped for all the new Isle of Armor Pokemon. One last shout out to my boy Alex for making this team. It was awesome. I enjoyed it so much. Guys, if you're interested in building teams, you guys already know the deal. Hit me up either in my DMs on Instagram or right here in the comment section on YouTube. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.